beautiful people welcome back to the canada Inform channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant based in new brunswick canada i talk about everything immigration to canada and life in canada so today's video is not a typical video where i show my face i have to do this video because the news is hot and is fresh from the oven of ircc they just threw a bombshell well, it's not really a bombshell. It's something that we've always been anticipating that the announcement will come out soon based on all the um, noise that has been going on about reducing temporary residence in Canada and all of that. So the announcement concerning um, ending the temporary public policy that allows visiting visas or allowing visitors to apply for work permit from within Canada has um, officially come to an abrupt end i use the word abrupt end because it was originally supposed to end in february 28 2025 but sadly it came to an end today officially today the announcement was made today and according to the announcement it is part of the overall effort to recalibrate the number of temporary residents in canada and preserve the integrity of the immigration system so if you read the article it's just a very short article at the bottom it says ircc is also aware that some bad actors were using the policy to mislead foreign nationals into working in canada without authorization ircc will continue to process applications submitted before august 28 2024 under the policy right from time i've always said that this new immigration minister was sent to come and clean the house like clean all the mess that IRCC has put um, immigration applications, immigration policies, immigration streams, like all the previous years of immigration mess. This current minister is now cleaning house. And that is why all these bombshells are just coming in left, right, center. No, no prior warning. Like for Mila, I have observed that he doesn't give warning like other immigration ministers that will come and give you a heads up. He doesn't give warning at all. He will just give hints and then the next thing, the, the announcement is out. That is what has been going on with all this announcement of restrictions here and there. And um, to an extent, it's also good because a lot of people were misled into getting visiting visas thinking that if they come into canada they will be able to convert from visiting visa to work permit they arrived canada and they discovered they were not able to convert or switch from visiting visa to work permit because it was not easy some people were selling lmias in my last video i said there are two different types of lmia you have the lmia exempt and the lmia that is not exempt which i said i was going to talk about in a subsequent video so basically people just you know were abusing this pathway coming into canada um as visitors and then switching to work permit a lot of people were abusing it people were charging exorbitant fees to get um work permits within canada and all of that and i even talked about somebody who came in as a visitor and the person in her application she mentioned she was a civil engineer and then um when she got a job offer as a farm farmer she went to the border to flagpole and they now started asking questions around her experience in farming and then they, they gave her um a, a letter to leave canada within 24 hours i don't know whether i talked about the story but i think i mentioned it in one of my videos so the long and short of it is that the period of laxity the the period where there were so much um opportunities to immigrate and then to come to canada is now shrinking badly it's shrinking and they are continuing to you know look for ways to shrink it further so if you are planning to come to canada this video is not to discourage you you can still come as a visitor they are not saying you cannot come as a visitor to canada you can still come to visit canada but that option of um, applying for work permit from within Canada, that option is no longer there. If you get a job offer when you come as a visitor, you have to leave Canada and then apply for work permit from outside Canada. That is what it means. So that policy of coming into Canada with a visiting visa and then getting a job offer and then staying in Canada and apply for work permit is no longer going to um, hold effective today, um, August 28, 2024.
so this is the information i said i was coming to share to my community and just to let you know and encourage you that you shouldn't be discouraged this is just one of the policies of cleaning house and hopefully things will stabilize in the nearest future thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye here we are from far and wide we stand on god happy people the true of all the land of freedom oh, oh. Here we are From far and wide we stand on God Our home and our native land In God we will trust Be the glory